Okay, so obviously for the first time that didn't work out right. Um, I accidentally hit the uh, button to where you turn your phone off uh, to the black screen and it ended the recording. So now what I'm going to do is make a part two. I'm going to shuffle uh, the Rider weight deck and then I'm going to lay the cards next to the ones that are already presently there. And then I'm going to let you know. Um, I, like I said, I'll pause it again, hopefully. Um, it doesn't turn off on its own, and then I will let you know uh, what I think of those cards uh, following um, the cards that we have already seen presently in our spread here. So, I'm going to ask questions. I usually ask them on mine. I don't very much ask them out loud, so I'm going to be quiet for a little bit because I kind of want to hear what Spirit has to tell me about the cards or maybe, um, you know, Shanann herself or, you know, I, I, I just, I'm, I like to be quiet while I'm shuffling them. So you will hear a bit of silence for a while. Now I am beginning. You have the Six of Cups that showed up next to the Page of Pentacles. You have the Lovers in Reverse showing up with the Ten of Swords. You have the Nine of Wands showing up for the Three of Swords. You have the Ten of Wands showing up for, or the, I'm sorry, the Four of Cups showing up for the Ten of Wands. You have the Seven of Cups showing up for the Nine of Swords. All right, I just want to make sure you can see what's going on fairly well. Okay, we'll leave it like that for right now. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. So, um, for the future, I am shuffling Queen of Cups. And you have the Five of Cups following the Queen of Cups. Underneath that, I'm also going to do the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Spirit. You have the Seven of Wands reversed. Why is the Hierophant here for the environment? Or, yes, I'm sorry, the environment. Three of Pentacles. Upright. Why are the hopes and fears the four of uh, pinnacles? Why are the hopes and fears the four of pinnacles? Because uh, the ace of swords is following the four of pinnacles. And what is the reason the death card is here? What is following the death card? The devil. Okay. I am going ahead and going to take you off of the stand hopefully it doesn't turn you off completely sorry for okay all right I successfully got you off without having to start again. So this will be part two of the Watts Family Murders. And I did the Celtic spread here. I'm going to place these cards right back over here. With the tower on top of them. So the second set of cards I got is uh, from the Rider Waite deck is going to be the clarifying cards for what we received in the first spread. 
So, for the number two spot, which would have been, uh, you know, I felt was Chris and Shanann's energy, but more Chris's because he was, uh, they're showing up as a page, which makes them immature. And he was very immature. And I think he kept looking back on his childhood and how his, you know, I, I think his mother um, possibly more than possibly babied him a lot. And so I think, you know, he was getting tired of Shanann um, maybe not letting him speak up more because I don't think he got to do that very much with his mom. So I think he got kind of tired of feeling like his whole life he never got to say what he wanted to say. And uh, But, I, you know, I, I think he, he loved his mom. He loved his childhood. But I think part of his childhood just was always on his mind. And it bothered him. And then directly underneath that, you have the lovers in reverse following the Ten of Wands. Now, that is there because, you know, Chris was feeling um, no longer in love, wanting to be out of the relationship with Shanann because he was no longer, you know, in love with her with the lovers reversed. So that is why that card is showing up next to it. I think the reason this nine of uh, wands is showing up to next to the um, next to the three of swords is because. I think Chris just got tired of defending or trying to make it work. He felt like, uh, not defending, but trying to make it work with Shanann. I think he felt that she was um, always going to, um, you know, that she was never going to change the certain things that bothered him. And I think that's why he, you know, ended up eventually falling out of love with her. Now... The next card that I had gotten was the Four of Cups following the Ten of uh, Wands. And the Four of Cups, I think, following the Ten of Wands is here because, uh, you know, Shanann was trying to put the burdens down and end it. And he wanted nothing to do with it, so he put it down. But she was trying to offer, you know, you know, basically an olive branch to him, you know, where you see the clouds handing the cup to solve the problem. But he didn't take any interest in, in the cup. He was wor more worried about Nikki you know, in the affair and, and spending time with her. So right after that, you know, once uh, he was in that state where he was losing sleep, thinking about Nikki and, you know, just fantasizing about all these things, like, you know, sex with her and and, and going out, you know, drinking, partying, having fun. Um, he was in that energy whenever um, he was starting to realize that he just didn't want to put the effort in anymore. Now, once he was already hanging out with Nikki, uh, she brought in, she, the reason she picked Chris was because the five of cups of here is following. And the reason I think that she picked Chris is because she, uh, had been watching him for a while. Um, they just made numerous comments that she had searched him and Shanann Watts on a uh, line before, she even met, uh, or before she not met, but claimed to even have spoken to Chris. So I think that she was jealous and she was looking at all these things that, you know, Shanann had with her husband and she was jealous. And so she wanted it and she was going to find a way to take it. And so once she met Chris, she came in really hot and heavy because that's what the Knight of, of Wands does. And uh, she was basically saying, you know, I'm a great person and, you know, I will always be there to defend you. Um, I'm completely honest, but she was lying and bullshit and just to get him to do what she wanted him to do. Now, um, to the. Uh, I have the hair of it, you know, to the outside where that everything was okay, but, you know, behind closed doors, you have the Three of Pentacles here. So that means there was cheating going on in this situation. And uh, so to the outside, everything looked great, but really on the inside, it, it was not working and flowing so well. And then directly above that, you have Shanann, where I was saying that, you know, I didn't think she wanted to let go of Chris and, and the children. And, you know, so that's why she's doing the Four of Pentacles because she was scared that he was going to start a new intellectually like most women are scared of men cheating but they're even more scared when they find out that the man is not only physically attracted but emotionally attracted and mentally attracted to another woman because that's a totally different thing than physical attraction so I think she felt like um Nicole had mentally won over Chris and I think that that she felt very defeated by that. And then once the death card showed up, I think on the other side, as soon as she had passed, you know, 
she was murdered. So, of course, the devil is following that death car with her children. And they buried her and her children and disposed of them in such a horrific way. So I think that's why the devil card is because everything that they did was made up, lied, and it was made to look as if they lied and said, you know, she killed her own children um, and knowing that didn't happen. Um, So I do think that, you know, she was very angry immediately following the death because of how they hurt her children and um, just the rumors they were spreading about her. And what I thought was very interesting, and I'm going back here because this was more... um, about Nicole to me and the five of cups being jealous. They had made a comment. I noticed in the coroner's report that, uh, the, out of all the three, Bella fought back the most and that she had ripped the, uh, top little piece of skin in between your lip. Now, the reason I'm saying that's interesting to me is because, uh, Chris claimed he smothered all of them and that, uh, once he was in the car, he also smothered Bella, but I don't, feel like he smothered Bella. I think he had an accomplice. I think Nikki was his accomplice. I think Nikki would, you know, hated that fact that he had a children, had children. He hated Shanann. She hated Shanann. And honestly, I kind of get the vibe that Nikki is actually the one that smothered Bella because, uh, you know, as far as I know, Bella was the closest to Chris. And so I can't see Chris, um, not saying that he didn't, because I can't, I mean, who would do any of this? But if that was his favorite child, why was he more aggressive with her and fighting back with her more than he did Shanann or Cece? And again, you know, that could have just been Bella's personality to fight back. But I did find that interesting because, you know, it, I do feel like NK was in on it. I think she helped plan it. And I do, you know, think that she despised the children. And I, like I said, I thought it was interesting that, um, you know, Bella had the most injuries and she was the only one to known to be alive in the back seat with NK, um, quote unquote in NK. Cause I, I believe she was in the car and helped Chris once he got to the sites that morning. Cause she was late to work the next morning. She had a, a phone call ping off of there around the time. And they put, and I'm assuming the person picked her up, brought her home. She got ready as quick as possible and then went to work. And that's why she was late, but that is going to be the end of my spread for, um, the Watts family murders, like I said, it's a Celtic spread. This, and to me, I like I said, I went ahead and laid it out for what was all going on at the time and when they were inside of the house and things that pe- we were not seeing um, and things that we had no clue of. Now, again, I, I want to thank you for watching the video. Um, this is Southern Soul Tarot, and I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, comment if there's anything that I missed or that you just think that you would like to share with the rest of us so that we um, can maybe piece some part piece some of the story together that would be great so um, again I appreciate you watching and like I said just please like subscribe and comment and share and um, I will see you again very soon thank you